the secret behind why your body is super sensitive. Hi everyone and welcome to this quick look at why your body may be super sensitive at the moment. A super sensitive body means that it reacts to things that you would normally take or do without any problems. This can include supplements or changes to your diet or exercise. You might be adopting these strategies in order to improve your health, but if you're super sensitive, it could actually leave you feeling more unwell than ever before because you're experiencing this opposite reaction that you wanted. And this can occur because of buildup of metabolites in your body. Metabolites are basically the byproducts that your body produces when you put anything into your body. This can be food or chemicals, hormones, drugs, supplements, or anything else, toxins. And when you put these substances into your body, your body has to break them down so they can be used properly. It usually does this via the liver and the other systems or organs. And while doing this, your body produces metabolites as waste products to be get rid to get rid of. And when you're healthy, your body can excrete these metabolites with no problems. And you you probably aren't even aware of it. But if you have a sluggish liver, or you have adrenal fatigue, or issues with your detox circuit and your extracellular matrix, then these metabolites can start to build up in your body. And this can cause symptoms like brain fog, diarrhea, constipation, insomnia, and joint pain. Most metabolites that are produced by your body are usually harmless or inert, but around 1% of them are reactive, which means your body doesn't like them. And when these metabolites are created, your body triggers inflammation to try to get them out. But to, the, to do this, your adrenal glands, your liver, your immune system, and your extracellular matrix need to be functioning properly. And this is usually where the problem starts. When just one of these systems aren't working properly, it leads to a buildup of damaging metabolites. So what can you do if you're concerned about these buildup of metabolites in your body? Well, first thing to do is to avoid things that create reactive metabolites. And the good thing is that reactive metabolites are usually created in a very specific circumstance. Here are some things to avoid if you want fewer reactive metabolites. Chemicals which can come from meds or polluted environments or skincare cleaning products or make sure everything that you're using is very clean. Um, uh, inflammatory foods like sugar or gluten or dairy can also cause you to have more reactive metabolites. And stress, which is often ignored cause of reactive metabolite creation, but reducing stress is super important. So you can probably avoid some of these causes, but maybe not all. So how do you actually learn to cut down on your body's creation of reactive metabolites? Make sure you eat a healthy diet that's free of, like, like I said, gluten, dairy, corn, that can cause a lot of reactiveness. Talk to your doctor about reducing certain medications where possible. You don't want just a laundry list of meds and supplements. You want to know what they're for and for what reason and the right dosing. As many of many meds and supplements are actually metabolized in your liver and even hormones. So you want to make sure you're on the right things. Work on your detox pathways. Very important because as long as you want to metabolize, you want to make sure you have a clean highway. So there are many different types of detoxing that you can do. And if you need help, definitely find help uh, in figuring out what's the best detox for you. And don't overdo it because the best detox is one that you don't feel. Okay, if you're feeling that detox reaction, that might already be too much and too stressful on your body. Another thing you can consider is low dose immunotherapy, which is to help your immune system build tolerance to triggers like foods, chemicals, environment, and any stealth infections that might be happening, so that you would have a much lower immune trigger response and be able to deal with metabolites better. So that's what we have today about the secret behind why your body is super sensitive. Hope you got something uh, helpful from what we learned and shared. And if you would like to hear more great tips, make sure to click subscribe and like and share this video so that other people who are dealing with this can improve their health. We are here to empower you to take control of your health.